With the different seasons of the year come new wonders to explore, but there's no denying that the world surely looks the most beautiful when fall begins. With a crisp bite in the air, the leaves of the trees start displaying a wondrous palette of color. From deep reds to oranges, browns, the last remnants of green, and everything in between. There's hardly anywhere that doesn't look beautiful at this time. But if you're looking for the best places to go, then stay tuned because it's time for us to explore the top 15 most beautiful fall leave locations to visit in the world. Number 15. New England Located in the northeastern United States, the six states that make up New England are Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. While they all may have differing political perspectives, they all have a very similar landscape and climate, most of which is the result of retreating glaciers at the end of the last ice age and left stunning rolling countryside and mountainous regions. There's no bad time to visit the area, but following the warm summers when vast forests and countryside are in full bloom, fall brings a glorious background of color virtually every direction you look. Normally beginning in late September, it's often said to be the most picturesque example of a bold, natural color you'll find anywhere in America, and attracts people from all around the world to take part in what's known locally as leaf peeping, or going to see the autumnal leaves. Due to the wide open landscape and small villages dotted throughout, it's the perfect place for a fall retreat, and you'll be almost certain to see a photographer setting themselves up to find the perfect shot. Number 14. Mount Fuji, Japan at 12,389 feet tall, Mount Fuji is undoubtedly one of the most recognizable features in all of Japan. And at only 62 miles away from Tokyo, you can see the volcano from the city on a clear day. As it's one of Japan's three holy mountains and is designated as a protected place of scenic beauty, Mount Fuji is surrounded by lush landscape that's full of trees and flowers and is so renowned for its beauty that artists and creative minds have traveled to the region for centuries in search of inspiration. Because of the parks and forests that surround it, you'll be treated to a spectacular view virtually any time during the year, but when it's fall, things really seem to come to life. The leaves of the countless cherry and maple trees turn a dark, bronzy red color, and as you approach the mountain itself, you find yourself surrounded by yellow karamatsu pines. It's such a popular time of year that there's even a festival to celebrate it called the Fujikawa Guchigo Autumn Leaves Festival, where you'll find a series of food stalls making use of local produce, as well as musical performances and dances late into the night. Number 13. Utrecht, Netherlands Utrecht is the fourth largest city in the Netherlands, located virtually in the exact center of the country, and is also one of the oldest known settlements in the region, with evidence of people living there dating back to at least 1500 years ago. In a similar way to Amsterdam, Utrecht is made up of a series of canals that were built in the 12th century as a route for traders to bring their ships all the way into the city, where the goods could be unloaded directly to the sellers of the buyers. Today, trade doesn't rely so heavily on the waterways, but they form the basis of a spectacular city center. A great effort has been put into landscaping them, with trees lining either side. Of course, when the fall begins, this leads to a stunning transformation of the city. The trees turn a deep red and orange, and the leaves fall to the ground to create a vibrant carpet of color alongside the water's edge. The effect is multiplied by the reflection within the canal, too, and it's one of the only places in the world you can experience such beauty while you cruise along in a boat. Number 12. Ontario, Canada The Canadian province of Ontario is in the center of the country and where more than a third of Canadian residents live, mainly in the two largest cities, Ottawa and Toronto. It is, however, an extremely large place covering an area of 415,000 square miles meaning there's plenty of space for vast forests and incredible landscapes. As you can imagine, from late September when fall begins, the entire region is covered in deep autumnal hues, and there are plenty of different ways to experience the transformation for a unique and personal experience. The Algonquin Provincial Park, for example, is full of maple trees and red oaks, where you can canoe along the rivers and through the lakes surrounded by untarnished nature and be dazzled by the colors as they're reflected on the water's surface. The Niagara Parkway, too, is an incredible place to visit, particularly during the fall. It's no wonder that Winston Churchill once described it as the prettiest Sunday afternoon drive in the world. Finally, if hiking through natural beauty is more your thing, then the Bruce Peninsula National Park offers unbelievable vistas as you walk along a cliff edge, surrounded by huge trees that are all more than a thousand years old. Number 11. 
Faskelly Wood, Perthshire, Scotland. Faskelly Wood is a protected forest in Perthshire, Scotland that surprisingly didn't actually have many trees before the 19th century, when the landowner at the time decided to turn it into a model woodland. It borders the north shore of Loch Faskelly and actually contains a small loch within it, which further helps to sustain local wildlife populations and helps the plant life to grow. Now owned by Scotland Forestry Commission, the damp climate has now allowed various species of European beech, Douglas fir, European larch, Norway spruce, and Scots pine to thrive. And it's renowned as one of the most stunning places you can visit during the autumn months because of the array of color. This is something that the park management has managed to capitalize on in recent years with the introduction of the Enchanted Forest Festival. While the wood is truly a sight to behold during daytime hours, it becomes a completely different experience at night because of the presence of hundreds of lights and speakers that create an audio-visual spectacular against the already amazing backdrop of the autumnal trees. It's initiatives like this that keep visitors returning year after year, and because of the environmentally conscious way everything's run, all of the funds that are generated are put back into preserving the woods for generations to come. Number 10. Bavaria, Germany. Covering an area of 27,000 square miles, Bavaria is by far the largest state of Germany, and despite being the second most populous, it's actually one of the least densely populated states because of its sheer size. With two main rivers flowing through it and the country's highest mountain range, the rest of the state is covered in thick forest and is one of the most impressive natural wildernesses in all of Europe. During the fall, the temperatures cool in Bavaria, but still remain at comfortable levels so you can easily explore the stunning autumnal foliage. The mountains turn golden in color, and the cities like Munich, Passau, and Nuremberg are full of gloriously red, orange, and yellow trees and give the perfect place to base yourself before taking a hike through the pristine Alpine mountains. It's also where you'll find the Neuschwanstein Castle the one that inspired Cinderella's castle at Disney, and even though it's a wonder during any time of the year, it's truly special when it's surrounded by golden and orange trees. Beyond simply the way it looks at this time of year, Bavaria is also culturally a brilliant place during the fall. It's then that the Germans celebrate Oktoberfest, with enough beer on tap to keep even the most hardened drinkers feeling satisfied. And it's the time when each city in the region also holds their own individual festivals called Volksfest. Number 9. Seoul, South Korea Seoul may well be one of the most futuristic cities on Earth, but it's also one of the most beautiful with a number of incredible parks that, during fall, become ablaze with rich colors. Autumn happens between mid-September and mid-November, and you'll never be short of spectacular places to visit. Seoraksan Park, home to the third highest mountain in the country, is the first to see the color change, and the hiking trails are soon covered with red and yellow leaves, surrounded by majestic mountain peaks, unusual rock formations, and deep twisting valleys. One of the most popular fall destinations is Nejongsang National Park, which is again easily accessible from Seoul, and is most famous for the deep crimson hues that form along with a series of 600-year-old nutmeg trees and some incredible waterfalls. For one of the most surreal fall adventures anywhere in the world, you can walk along the path between the Information Center and the Nangjongsang Temple, which is densely lined with 108 trees and is breathtaking when deep orange colors have developed. Finally, for a more hair-raising adventure, you can visit the Daedonsan Provincial Park, which is famous for its suspension bridge that hangs almost a thousand feet above the valley below. From here, you'll get one of the most incredible views of fall foliage anywhere on Earth. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Tuscany, Italy Tuscany is one of the regions of central Italy that covers an area of around 8,900 square miles and has Florence as its capital. In many ways, it lies at the very center of Italian culture, credited with being the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance. And it's not just the people that live there that contributed to it, but the incredible landscape that surrounded them that gave them inspiration. Also intrinsically linked with Italian cuisine, there are countless vineyards and forests. And it's not just the leaves of the trees that turn from green to shades of yellow, orange, and red, as it's also the time when the grape harvests ripen, along with the chestnuts and mushrooms. Because of this, the aromas that waft around the towns are simply sumptuous, as the locals make best use of this fresh produce to create some of the tastiest dishes you'll find anywhere in the world. 
The region also becomes a hive of activity at this time of year because it's when the farmers begin to clear their fields so they can plant a crop of olives, and fields that were once full of sunflowers are now being replaced with black-eyed Susans. For a romantic and unforgettable time during the fall months, there's truly no better or more satisfying place to be than Tuscany. Number 7. Vermont Although New England as a whole is internationally renowned as a special place to be during the fall, special mention has to go to Vermont itself, which is the epicenter of beauty at that time of year. It's the only one of the states that doesn't border the Atlantic Ocean, and as a result its climate is a little more conducive to glorious autumnal hues. More than three quarters of the state is covered in forests, and it lays claim to having the highest percentage of maple trees in the whole of the country. And when the leaves start to turn, this results in an explosion of color you'll be hard-pressed to find anywhere else, and the local communities awaken with this change. As the harvest begins, there are a number of festivals and events to celebrate this time of year, with a particular focus on the produce that nature provides. With large pumpkin patches, corn mazes, and bountiful farms, there's far more to do than walking through nature, even though that in itself is a phenomenal enough experience. If you are visiting the state, make sure to take the time to go to the town of Middlebury, where the summit of Snake Mountain offers particularly amazing views, and also the Shelburne Orchards where you'll be able to taste some freshly made apple brandy. Number 6. Huangshan Mountain Range, China Huangshan, which translates to mean Yellow Mountain, is a mountain range in the Anhui province of eastern China and is a region known for its unusually shaped granite peaks that are covered in pine trees and hot springs. It's here that it's said Chinese tourism was born, and many millions of people travel to the region each year to see the spectacular sights for themselves. What's amazing is that a thick covering of trees grows right up to the tree line at an altitude of 5,900 feet, so when fall begins you're left with this wondrous carpet of color to point where it appears as if the mountaintops rise out above it. Many of the trees there are more than 100 years old, and it's generally regarded as one of the most picturesque places in all of China. This is further reinforced by the fact that the Huangshan has been featured in some of the most important Chinese historical works of art and literature, all because the way it looks has been such an inspiration to those that visit. If the mountains look familiar and almost like you've been there, it could well be because James Cameron said they were the basis for the Navi homeworld in Avatar. Number 5. Iceland Iceland is one of the most northernmost countries in the world, but don't let its name deceive you. It's actually covered in lush and fertile greenery. Legend has it that it got its name as a way to dissuade potential invaders, and today it remains one of the most spectacular places on Earth. It's full of mountains, glaciers, volcanoes, and lava fields, and until the 19th century its main source of income was derived from agriculture. While there may not be as many trees as there are in other countries, the leaves of the plants and the blades of grass and the grasslands all transform during the fall months to create something unlike anything else you'll see on Earth. There are the same deep, rich hues of browns, reds, golds, and oranges, but they take place amongst cascading waterfalls, glowing volcanoes, and beneath seemingly motionless ice sheets. Because of its northerly location, fall doesn't last quite as long in Iceland and usually begins in September and is finished by the end of October. As an added bonus though, and something else that you'll rarely see anywhere else, the fall is also the time of year when it starts to become easier to see the northern lights, meaning you could well find yourself surrounded by dazzling color in every direction you can possibly look. Number 4. Belfast, Northern Ireland the capital city of Northern Ireland, Belfast, sits on the east coast of the country against the Lagan River. Its name means Mouth of the Sandbank Ford, and due to its wet climate it provides the perfect environment for vegetation to flourish. The city itself is covered with greenery, but it's when you venture out beyond the city limits that you become overwhelmed by the rolling hills of the Northern Irish countryside. A hike up Black Mountain grants amazing views out across Strangford Low Inlet, and when fall begins, it feels like you're looking over a vibrant world full of bronzes, reds, and yellows. With plant life growing right up to the edge of the rivers and along the coastline, there's no break in the autumnal hues before you reach the blue of the sea, something that means every walking trail will provide spectacular sights and experiences along the way. There's also a number of impressive ancient sites nearby, such as the Big Moor Stone Circles, and these too light up in an explosion of color once the leaves begin to turn. 
After a long day of exploring, it's also worth visiting the Old Bushmills Whiskey Distillery, because as well as being able to partake in a tipple, the road that approaches it is lined by the Dark Hedges, which are a series of entwined beech trees that almost come to life when their leaves take on the autumnal colors. Number 3. Bruges, Belgium Bruges is the capital city of the Belgian province of West Flanders, and it's such an important historical place that the entire city has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was one of the most important trade hubs in Europe, with a population in the 13th century three times that of London at the time, and in many ways it feels like a time warp setting foot there, when you're transported back to the city during its heyday. If you think of fairy tale surroundings, then Bruges is pretty much how you'd imagine. With Gothic architecture in every direction, greenery throughout, and dense forests surrounding it, it's filled with a complex network of canals, with trees lining most of them, and it's a picturesque place any time of the year. From a tourism perspective, it's most popular during the summer, so when the seasons change, there are far fewer people present, and this only adds to the mystique of the city during the fall. With vibrant oranges, reds, and yellows forming all over the trees in the center, as well as around the outskirts, you can take a boat tour along the canals and be overcome by the colorful cityscape. While it may no longer be a world-leading city, it has retained its medieval charm, and it's truly a unique place to experience the prettiest season of all. Number 2. Aspen, Colorado Aspen in Colorado was originally founded during the Colorado Silver Boom in the late 19th century. But as the treasure seekers began to move away, it was renamed after one of the most plentiful local resources, the Aspen Trees. In the following years, its population plummeted, but in the latter half of the 20th century, its fortunes rebounded as one of the most popular ski destinations in America and as a playground for the rich and famous. The peak times for visitors to the city are during the summer and winter, but it's arguably during the fall that the area becomes the most beautiful. All of the trees begin to change color, and you can still do all of the same activities that are available during the summer, just without the crowds, so it almost feels like you have a mountain all to yourself. The best time to see the fall colors is usually towards the end of September, and there are several places that are well worth visiting if you have the chance. The hike towards the Cathedral Lake will take you through thick aspen groves that have turned golden, and after an hour, you'll reach an opening to look out across the vast meadows and waterfalls at Castle Creek. Independence Pass is also an unmissable sight, and the journey to it will lead you amongst a canopy of aspen trees before reaching the summit, where you'll see a panoramic view of the entire valley, which will be covered in streaks of virtually every autumnal color you can think of. Number 1. Plivica Lakes, Croatia Added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1979, the Plivica Lakes National Park is one of the oldest and largest protected regions in Croatia. It's in the center of the country, a region that's extremely hilly and mountainous, and covers an area of approximately 73,000 acres. The park is probably best known for its series of 16 cascading lakes that can be seen from the surface, but this network is, in reality, much larger, with the vast majority of the formations being underground. With such a plentiful water supply, the park is host to a wide range of different trees, mainly beaches, spruces, and firs, and it's also home to more than 1,200 different species of plants, including 55 distinct types of orchid. You'd expect, then, that during the fall, the Plavitsa lakes become awash with color, but that doesn't exactly do justice to quite how impressive the area looks once the leaves begin to turn. The best time to visit is between mid-September and mid-October, and while it may be on the cold side, it's well worth the trip. The incredible lake formations seem to pop even more when surrounded by the golden, maroon, and orange leaves, and you'll see wonderful glints of color being reflected from the water. The walking boards that offer a safe way to walk around the park only add to the autumnal vibe, and while you lose yourself in the spectacular walks through the woodlands, you may just be lucky enough to see a brown bear, a lynx, or a wolf trying to find one of its last meals before winter sets in. If you're able to visit anywhere in the world during fall, the Plivica Lakes can't come highly recommended enough, and you'll almost certainly be given a new appreciation for just how stunning the natural world can be. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.